All right, let's try question 18. Here we have a diagram, this being geometry after all. And they've given us 100 degrees here and 55 degrees here. And they want to know the measure of angle 1. Well, we know that all of the angles inside of a triangle must add up to 180 degrees. Problem at the moment, though, I don't know this angle, and I don't know this one here either. Let's call it just A. Well, let's see if there's anything we do know. Well, if I look here, I notice that along the 100 degrees here, that's a straight line. And angles of lying on a straight line like this have to sum up to 180 degrees. So I've got 100 degrees plus A degrees. And apparently, I use my plus for degrees. Let's fix that. And we know that that's got to add up to 180 degrees. So solve for 180 degrees by taking the 100 away from each side. Boom, boom. So angle A must be 80 degrees. Cool. So let's just remember that fact there, because it's tiny. And we go, all right, well, all three of these added up. They've got to equal 180. And now we know these two angles. So it's pretty straightforward from here. We can say 180 degrees has got to be 55 degrees plus this angle, which we found, 80 degrees, plus angle 1 over here. I want to know what this measurement is, so I'll subtract the 80 and the 55 from both sides. When I take away the 80, I get 100. Measure of angle 1. And now if I take away the 55, we will get that the measure of angle 1 is equal to 45 degrees. And that is question 18.